All right, good morning, Vlogmas Day 14. I didn't just wake up, I kind of, I probably woke up like an hour ago, I've just been editing, but I slept with my makeup on. I didn't drink, I didn't go out. I literally passed out on the couch watching old commercials with Alex, like didn't have a crazy night at all and I fell asleep with my makeup on. I'm like baffled right now. Because I feel bad for my skin, I'm gonna do a mask. I'm gonna use the SkinCeuticals Clarifying Clay Mask. All right, Alex is here and now I'm gonna make her some eggs and Scott eggs too. Yeah, Maroonie, thanks. Thank you, I love eggs. So I just got this package. Oh, I hope these are the ones that dissolve. Let's see, some of these, some brands of these, they dissolve, so like, they're not in the environment forever. Yeah, they are. It's from Rachel. Guys, I made my makeup brand after four years. It's finally done. These are nice. Boom. Oh. Oh. Nice. Pretty. Thanks, Rachel. I'm gonna rush to get ready, and then I think we are gonna go look for some Christmas presents. All right, we just got Chipotle, but we were in line, and somebody was like, obviously in front of us, it looks so familiar. Alex just looked it up. It was a little pump. Thought I'd share that with you. Are you like a section eater or a mixer? <laughs> we're literally both separate ones. All right, we finished at Chipotle and now we're at our favorite vintage store, American Vintage. Okay, we just finished. Alex got a really cool shirt for her dad. He collects like Harley Davidson shirts. So which one did you get? A Hawaii. Hawaii one, a really cool Hawaii one. And then we went back into the store to look for something else. And Alex spotted this like little kid jacket. The sizing's hard, especially with vintage things. Like sizes get so different throughout the years, but it says a small, it looks small. I think my niece and nephew could probably share it. But look at this it's little shirt. <laughs> Alex and I have just been home chilling for the past like God, like three hours, very chill Saturday, but we've been watching TikToks and my favorite genre of TikToks is food, all the like cool like dorm hacks people do and like just the fun recipes people do, like I always want to remake. So I picked three that I wanna remake and I'm gonna remake them right now. I'll insert the TikTok so you know what I'm talking about, but we're gonna do a beer mac and cheese and then this snack that someone was doing, it was like apples with cream cheese and like a brown sugar mix just to dip them in. It looked so good. And then lastly, pizza in a mug. So I'm gonna start with the one that I feel like is gonna be the easiest, the cream cheese dip. Okay, so she just like mixed it with brown sugar. She said you can add honey if you want. So this is kind of hard, so I'm just gonna, she said to make it like soft. A little bit of brown sugar. Ah! Dude, oh, come on. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> mm. I think I like it without the honey because it's there's still salt sweet. too. Yeah, it's sweet, but like yeah. the salt of the cream cheese, I, I want it to be present. Like, I'm gonna crave this. Let's try the honey for good measure. Uh, it just tastes like honey. Mm -hmm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. I'd give it a 10 out of 10 if it was green apples. I think it would be nice with green apples because green apples are sour. Mm. Nice. Mm. Green cheese for president. Okay. So this called for flour, baking powder, mozzarella, olive oil, and tomato sauce, and pepperoni, but she's a vegetarian, so we're just gonna do a cheese pizza so she could try it too. One, two, three, four. Three tablespoons of milk. Shit, I don't have milk. Original almond right here. We good. One, two, three. One tablespoon of olive oil. Stir again. It definitely looks like a little wet for dough. Yeah, I'm gonna add more flour. So I'm gonna say this damn near gets to like six tablespoons. Spread pizza sauce, add cheese, add pepperoni, but we're not, add seasoning. I'll do some oregano and garlic. Microwave for two minutes. This is what it looks like before it's going in. So while it's cooking, she also says, smells so good. And she's like, so I'll let you know if it starts smelling good. Do you smell anything, Alex? Cause I don't. Yeah, I don't at all. Oh, yes I do. Oh my God, come here. Yeah, nice. There's no way that dough's cooked. Yeah, I, no way. I can guarantee it. We just have to try it. Ooh, it's steaming up the camera. Cook? It's kind of cooked. You know what I used to do when I was little? What? I would suck in cold air. I remember air. that. I literally <laughs> remember you doing that. And blow out like it was <laughs> doing something. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> This will be helpful because Scott craves pizza late at night mm. when places aren't open. 
and this will fill his craving. Mm -hmm. I kind of love it. It's really good. It tastes yeah. like a um, pizza bagel. A pizza bagel. It tastes like a pizza bagel. Last but not least, the one that Alex has been hovering here for. Beer mac and cheese. So the first step she, she does is just like the tiniest bit of butter in the pan with salt and pepper and swirled around that much. <laughs> Make sure, make sure your pan is on medium high heat and brown them. Okay, I think she added more butter because when she was doing this and sauteing it, it was like juicy. Yeah. So she said to add a can of beer, but we only have a bottle. And then she also says, make sure you use a can, not a bottle, which I can't find a real reason why that would be necessary. Add it slowly till the pasta is fully submerged. Ah! watching pasta boil. <laughs> Saturday nights are crazy. So I put the lid on it because it kind of seems like we're gonna run out of liquid before the pasta is actually done. So I'm kind of just trapping it to speed up the process, make it hotter in there so the noodles cook faster. This is what it looks like. Yum. Also, I went through all the steps and she says add two capfuls of heavy whipping cream and we don't have that. So I think I'm just, I might add cream cheese instead or just more butter. She said before you add the cheese, add cold butter. And she, only, she added like a little tiny thing. So she also said add as much cheese as you want. That's good. <laughs> it needs moisture. It needs milk. Shit. So I'll do two capfuls because she did. That's like nothing. It's like too dry. Yeah. Whoa. We've been fucking mac and cheese. Damn near, it really tastes like crap. I saved this for last, thinking it would be the best. It's boiled noodles with cheese. Ooh, you know what I haven't done in a while? Ketchup on mac and cheese. Seven out of ten. Really? I, I mean, like a five. I also am a cre creamy mac and cheese person. Me too. Ooh, good call on the sriracha. Well, that's it for today's video. I need to start editing right away because tomorrow we have a very long day. Leanna's flying in the morning and then me, Leanna, and Alex are going apartment hunting because they're moving in together and then we're going to thrift con. It's just, it's a full day so I won't be able to edit in the morning at all. So I'm gonna get on this, try and digest that mediocre mac and cheese. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.